once you're looking at a science, not strictly for the benefits that it can bring, but for the damage it can inflict on an enemy, you're in a whole new world. Now, at the request of a desperate ally, America was entering a realm lacking clear ethical limits, where science and secrecy would go hand in hand. As the meeting broke up, the researchers were now warned anyone who leaked details of the discussion would face 40 years in prison and a $10,000 fine. By the time of the Washington meeting, German bombs had been raining down on Britain for two years. The English feared that the next bomb might carry a biological payload. You can look at the British in 1940. When the blitz is going on, that's when they decide that they're going to start a biological weapons program. They are absolutely at the edge. They're really desperate and they want to seek any kind of defense that they can. In July 1942, Britain began secret trials of unconventional weapons on a small Scottish island called Gruenard. It was picked because of its remoteness partly for the reasons of secrecy, but also partly because there were very few populated areas around the island. The British believed they had a weapon that would disperse infectious germs into the air. In their labs, they had evaluated a handful of lethal agents. Now in the field, they would test the most promising, the bacterium that causes the dreaded disease, anthrax. Led by bacteriologist Paul Files, the team first considered how far beyond the island wind might spread the germs. Then they positioned their subjects, a score of sheep purchased from local crofters. A scaffolding held a bomb packed with hardy anthrax spores. They really have to turn to an agent like anthrax because the anthrax spore is able to withstand the pressure of an explosion. This was an anti-personnel bomb, but obviously doing experiments with humans with anthrax was out of question. Over the next minutes, the cloud of germs passed over the animals. For several days, nothing. Then the sheep began to tremble and stagger. Blood oozed from their bodies shortly before death. What Files' experiments on Grunard Island had shown was that an anti-personnel biological bomb could be produced. What it did convince the Allies of was that they had a really potent weapon. A potent weapon, but one exceedingly hard to contain. The dead sheep were put at the bottom of a cliff with some explosives. The explosives were let off to bury the sheep. One or two of the sheep were blown into the water and floated away. Soon, animals began to die on the mainland. If word of the lethal experiment got out, Files feared, the public would panic. British security services concocted a story. Greek sailors had tossed infected carcasses overboard. The British reimbursed farmers on behalf of the Greek government. Files had a successful field trial, but scant resources. To move into production, the British would need American help. 